Then they'll see the best move birds, ever. Mo. Oh my then they'll see the best move ever and go. Then the world will see the best move ever and go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Left knee initiates your downswing. In other words, you don't do it with the hands. Like Ooh, keep the hands out of it. The you drop, you talk, talked about the drop though. Sure. It's dropping because of your left knee? Sure. Okay. When you hit that shot, what do you feel? Just a sheet. Just a little bit? Not nothing here. I see. That's all. You don't physically try to drop the club. It just happens because of oh, leg. Oh yeah. Yeah, leg action. But when I was a kid, I did. Oh, I used to you try, stay there for yeah. five, ten minutes. Just Dropping used to stay there like that. Mm-hmm. Just used to stay like that for five or ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Just trying to keep your legs flexed. Kind of. In a sitting position. Mm-hmm. You don't think then that like the they're teaching that the the left side It's not coming up, is it's it? Too much dead motion. Uh huh. I see. They're swinging around the ball, not through the ball. Mm-hmm. In fact, they're not swinging at the ball, they're hitting. Mm -hmm. Last thing in my mind is hitting the ball. Swing <laughs> at it. Watch, here. A million dollar swing, watch. Yeah, it is pretty good. Million dollar swing. <laughs> I can't argue with you, don't we? <laughs> Especially you got it on Phillips, too. Oh, you think yeah. it was luck here? No watch again. Here. Million dollar swing. Now you keep the right foot on the ground for what reason now? Keeps it more stable. More stable? Sure and you don't go to the outside of the left foot ever? Ever. Never. Never. Where's your weight at impact then? Ooh. Do you feel like it's left or right? 60-40. 60-40 oh, right? On the left foot. 60-40 on the left. Yeah. Watch, I'll really do it here. Hit a 300 one. So actually you think the modern player is getting too much weight to the left side? Too quickly. Too quickly. The motion is stopping too quickly, and the club is still moving, but their their legs aren't. Ah, I see. Yeah. They got the reflex action. Right. Which is bad. So they got to get real handy then. They're playing catch up. Right. Watch this. That's good there. It's as pure as a driven snow. Boy, that is. I don't know. I, mean, I was talking to the guys earlier this morning. This might be the most talked about subject matter that we talk about in, in all of our instruction is what is occurring in the stabilization. How does the, you know, people talk about lateral movement and I'm not a, I'm not a big proponent of lateral movement. I'll tell you why. Because when I measure things, because this, when, when my body goes like this, when my body goes that way, everybody, so you're seeing the camera right there is seeing a two dimensional perspective of me, right? But you're not seeing this element of that movement. You're just seeing this element of the movement. So you're saying, hey, it's a lateral movement. But it's not true because when I go this direction, there's also a rotational element to that. Watch it from this angle. There's a rotational element to that. So that right there is the motion I want where it's both, it's both lateral and rotational, but they don't, they're not independent of each other. In other words, there's no lateral motion without the rotation in that. So I'm not a big proponent of people saying, well, Mo shifts. He makes a lateral shift. It's just not, uh, you've seen me produce some videos on this. There's not a ton of, of net lateral movement in his pelvis. If you look at Mo from behind, you can see if you put a, put a line on his sacrum and he makes a backswing, that sacrum goes forward. And then by the time he gets through impact, it comes all the way back. So you're not seeing a net lateral movement of the, of the sacrum at all. You're seeing it move a little bit as he moves, but he's rotating in this motion. So here we got to get really, really good. If you're going to do one thing in 2020 and you guys are gold members, so you, you guys have seen me instruct this stuff and it's very hard to feel what the lead knee is doing. We're going to talk about the lead knee because it's very hard to feel what it's doing because you're hitting a golf ball and you're paying attention to result and it's very hard to identify what's happening in that split second of movement as you strike a golf ball. So once again, I'm recommending training with the K-Motion systems. I'm recommending using video talking to the coaches and making sure you're getting the proper movement of the lead knee. So let's talk about it.